Hey guys, all right, so as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and I've already actually put on my eye primer, my um, MAC uh, Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. Okay, so now I'm just using um, a shade out of my Anastasia Stasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's just one of the bronzer ones. Um, I'm just using that in my crease as my transition color. So as you can see, I'm doing right now. Now I'm going in with that Too Faced uh, Stardust palette in the shade Chandelier and I'm putting that as my um, eyebrow highlight. So I'm just going to put that on. Then using the shade Selfie, I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct just to open up my eyes a little bit more. <laughs> I'm using my favorite uh, infallible uh, cream eyeshadow, I guess you could call it, uh, in the shade Amber Rose, or I'm sorry, Amber Rush. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on both of my uh, lids. I went ahead and sprayed um, my brush with a little bit of my Urban Decay setting spray. Um, and that, if you guys want to do that, that actually helps the shadow appear more pigmented and a little bit more shimmer. So that's what I did here for it to appear that way on my lids. I should have done this before, um, but now I'm just going in with a fluffy brush and I'm just blending all of those colors together. The crease and the uh, eyelid shade and then along with the brow shade also. Now I'm going to go in with the Lorac uh, Pro Palette and I'm going to use the shade Garnet on top of that Amber Rush color. Um, I just wanted to use that cream shadow just to brighten up the Garnet color a little bit more. Whenever you use a cream eyeshadow and then you put another eyeshadow on top of it, it's just going to make it pop a lot more than if you were to just use the shadow by itself. So just put that on both of your lids on top of that Amber Rush color you already put on. You're probably going to have a little bit of eyeshadow fallout as you can see um, underneath my eyes, but it's okay guys. That's why I said I always do my foundation last and my eyes first because then it's just much easier just to clean up whatever mess you made underneath. Okay, so I wanted a little bit more of a red um, to this cranberry look that I was doing. And the Garnet shade was a little bit darker, so it kind of was coming up brown. So I'm just going to go in with this, um, I think it's a BH Cosmetics palette I have with all these different colors in it. And I actually had like a red color. And so I'm just using that now to put on top of the Garnet color. I know guys, layering, layering. Um, just because I wanted more of that cranberry kind of red color versus just like a brown kind of gold kind of color. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stay in focus with the camera so you guys can see me doing this as, you know, as I'm trying to look in the mirror and put it on my eyes. Going back to that Stardust palette, I'm going in with the shade Girls Night and I'm going to put that all in my crease. I'm just doing, you know, you guys know my regular winged eyeliner. I'm just using the uh, L'Oreal Black Felt Tip Liquid Liner. 
um, I think it's like Linear or something. Um, but yeah, that's like my favorite liquid liner go-to. I've waited for so long, I've run the ground. I feel I'm burning up inside. going in with my Milani liquid eye uh, eyeliner pencil in the shade black on my waterline. Now I'm just taking I feel I'm burning up inside Oh hear me crying I feel like everyone's alive And I am tired that same red eyeshadow I used from that BH uh, Cosmetics palette and just putting that on my lower lash line. I feel like everyone's alive and I am tired Going in with that Stardust palette again, I'm going to use the shade Girls Night and smoke the lower lash line out with that red color. I'm just putting my face primer on and then I'm going to put my foundation on. You guys have already seen me do this, so I'm just going to fast forward and just let you watch. <laughs> Oh, hear me crying I feel like everyone's alive And I am tired oh, Cause you are all I need The reason I breathe
Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanted to do something since the holiday was coming up, Thanksgiving, so I figured I'd go with a nice cranberry and gold <laughs> combination. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video, and don't for forget to subscribe as always so you don't miss out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. They are like similar, um, they're not the same, but they are similar in like the whole like colors and all like that and like the shininess to them. But they are just, I think they are just like, I mean I don't know if you guys know what these are or not, but I think they're just for candles I guess, like little tea lights or something you can put in there. Or even you know like the little flameless little tea lights that they have.